In this video, I make huevos mexicanos in the van. We arrive in Huachochi, Chihuahua, cross another river to camp, and drive out of the epic Chihuahua Mountains. So today we drove till about 3.30 and then when we arrived, uh, we went for a bit of a walk just to kind of explore the area, see if there wasn't maybe the a better place for us to camp. We sometimes do that. Um, we're on our way to Huachochi, so we're just kind of south of La Lagunias in Chihuahua. Um, and so now it's about dinner time. I'm going to start making dinner, uh, but we don't have any meat. Like a lot of places around here just sell kind of frozen meat. Um, but we do have lots of eggs. So um, I'm going to make egg tacos for dinner, Mexican style. Uh, so with garlic, uh, jalapenos, onions, uh, tomato. I'm also going to make some beans uh, and we bought some really cool blue corn tortillas so uh, we're going to try those. You don't see those too often uh, so we're going to have those with our tacos and um, yeah that's what's for dinner. I don't love to cook inside uh, but it's actually pretty windy out so we just have a gas stove and the wind is just not very conducive to actually cooking outside. Uh, so when we do cook inside, uh, we just can kind of cook right across from where uh, our side door is. Um, just set up our little two burner stove and um, get some good airflow coming in here, open a door, open the windows. Um, and yeah, we've never had any issue. Uh, obviously it's nice to be able to set up a little kitchen outside, but can't always do that. I love that Mexican cooking relies on vegetables that are the color of their flag. Um, so here I'm using jalapenos, green, uh, onions, white, and tomatoes, red, um, cilantro also green. So uh, yeah, I just, I love the color combination. I love how bright and vibrant the food here is. Uh, and the jalapenos here are awesome. In Canada, they kind of suck and they're not very spicy, um, but these ones, even when you de-seed them, are quite spicy. So yeah, kudos to Mexico and their jalapenos. The eggs here in Mexico are also way better. Um, we like to buy really little ones and the yolks just sit nice and high and they're super yellow. Uh, they're not like kind of that pale yellow that sometimes you get from eggs that have been sitting around the grocery store for too long. Uh, these don't get washed, so um, you know, they, they can be outside of the fridge. You don't have to keep them refrigerated, which is really nice. Um, and they just taste better. So unfortunately, because we passed through town a little bit later in the day, um, there were no fresh tortillas to be had, which are obviously the best. Um, but we did find a little tienda that was selling blue corn tortillas, which is pretty cool. Um, they're a little bit thicker. Uh, the texture is a little bit um, more grainy. They're not like as... Uh, the corn kernels aren't ground down as much, um, but they are delicious and I am going to reheat them because they aren't fresh, uh, but that only takes a few seconds right on the open flame. And while you're waiting to eat, you always keep your tortillas wrapped nicely in a clean tea towel to keep them warm and soft. Uh, so huevos mexicanos comes together real quick. Uh, like I said, I made beans too. Uh, so I chose pinto. You can use whatever you want. Um, and I also bought a really nice chili blend, uh, like spice mix. Um, it's just kind of like chili stear bowl and um, uh, there's cumin and garlic and stuff in there. So it's really nice. And so I just put that over top of the beans and I mashed them up a little bit because I like a kind of a nice mix of refried beans and whole beans. Um, and yeah, we're pretty much ready to go. Uh, it's really nice that this comes together so quickly. And also I only used my frying pan and a fork. So bonus points for not having very many dishes to do. Tienes sí. hambre? Si. How are the blue corn tortillas? Good, they're a little thicker. 
They're almost like when we make homemade tortillas. Mm -hmm. But yeah, they're quite good. They kind of have a little bit of a different taste to them. So we are in Guachochi, or this is where we've camped, just outside of Guachochi. Um, we we got to make it to Peral tomorrow for uh, to ship an Etsy order, and I think we might need to do some more work on the van. Maybe new bearings in the back end because of some wonky noises happening. Uh, maybe at least a diff fluid change. Um, yeah, I think the drive to Peral is going to be quite beautiful. Um, we'll probably just kind of camp maybe halfway through and then get to Peral tomorrow. Um, just so we don't have to camp around the town. Um, here was super chill, kind of a a amongst some farms and stuff like that. Um, pretty quiet, a couple of dudes walked by this morning. We are on the way to Peral, um, and we have been dropping a lot. We're coming out of the Barrancas, which means we are heading into the next section of our trip in Mexico. Uh, really cool road here. Um, reminds me a lot of the U.S. Eh? like Utah and stuff like that. Yeah, crazy rock formations and stuff. Mm -hmm. Tons of crumbling plateaus and mesas. Um, super windy road, of course. And, uh, and yeah, we're dropping a lot, so it'll be warmer tonight, which is really nice. Um, yeah, super cool drive. Cannot uh, recommend the drive basically from, what, San Juanito to Peral? San Juanito to Creole to Guachochi. Yeah, epic. So we just talked to a very friendly gentleman uh, who lives at the corner of the highway and this little pueblo called um, Rio Chico. And um, he said we could park along the river anywhere. We found a little community corral. So we're just gonna park next to the corral, but we have to make it through this little river. It should be fine, but the sand is pretty soft here. So we're gonna just film it and see how it goes. So here we're parked on the river uh, between Baleza or Baeza and Paral. And I was just checking the rear view lights and I looked up and I saw the sky behind me. Super beautiful. 
over those cool mountains. It looks like a fortress back there. Can't really see it in the camera. But... All right, super cool color. It's like a pink, pink clouds coming up over those mountains. Yeah, right here we're parked on the river and farms around. Pretty chill spot. So today we are going to Peral. We're leaving this beautiful spot that we slept last night. Um, really cool mountains around here. Uh, it's just a tiny little village, uh, kind of between Peral and Baeza. And um, yeah, they told us we could just go ahead and sleep by the river. There's some houses over here and a house over that way. Anyway, we're heading to Peral. We're gonna go and buy uh, new rear wheel bearings for the van and get those installed there probably you know that'll probably be done by noon it's only nine o'clock now and then uh yeah i'm gonna ship off an etsy package which is super exciting uh so we're gonna do that and then slowly make our way down a uh, little bit more towards durango city today enjoy following our travels, please give this video a like and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Remember, take the long road home.